Hi, Dana. Can you just make some light of what we just witnessed following the fight? Show. We just saw on Twitter that you said three members of Team Khabib are heading to jail right now. Yeah. Three, T- tell three, us more. Th- three of them are arrested. I don't know which guys it was, but I'm, it was the three guys involved in the uh, in the situation, we'll call it. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's what happens. This is, this, this is a sporting event. So when, when, when the sporting event is over and you think you're going to start a fight, then now, now it becomes criminal. Is there any chance Khabib gets stripped of his title, suspended? I don't know. I don't know. I think that the Nevada State Athletic Commission is obviously going to do a uh, – um, investigation. They're actually pulling footage right now. They're holding both uh, purses. Uh, they're not releasing the purses, and you know th- th- this is this is even bigger than that. Who knows if if, if Habib and his guys will get a visa to get back into this country again? Um, big fines, I'm sure, from the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Possible suspensions. So we'll see how this thing plays the guys out. Guys, the jump con are they done? Are they fired? Huh? The guys that jumped Connor afterwards, are you going to release yeah. them? Yeah, I, I don't know who they were. One was Zubera, two who got yeah. reportedly. Yeah, I don't know. Again, this is this is all fresh. I don't know who, who did, who didn't. I don't know. We're investigating, and once we get to the bottom of it, we'll take the appropriate you mentioned this actions. Week, sorry. Huh? You mentioned this week that this was a real rivalry. They really hate each other. Would you expect that something like that would happen? Of course. Did you see all the police? Have you ever been to a UFC event with that many police officers there and security? And yeah, we knew, and we we took all the precautions to make sure it didn't happen, and it still happened. What sparked Khabib's reaction? Because it's so out of character for him. We're not used to seeing him behave that way. One of Connor's cornermen was yelling at him and you know talking smack to him, and he snapped and ran and dove over the cage. Besides the commission, will the UFC take any measurements to punish them? I mean, we we work hand in hand with the commission. We're regulated by the commission. What do you think about Michael Bisping was talking afterwards on Fox saying how almost Connor comes out, despite the loss, better in this situation as the victim in, in many ways? Mm. I don't know if anybody comes out of this thing better. Um, I think it's bad for everybody. It's bad for the sport. It's bad for the brand. It's bad for, uh, obviously, all the guys from both camps. Uh, I, I don't know how... I, I guess he's an optimist, but I, I don't see how anybody comes out of this thing looking good. What about the decision about like, not really uh, making the announcement without the fighters inside the room? What about it? How was that decision? Like, how was that because made? I knew that if we announced it and put that belt on them, things were going to rain into the octagon, and, and I didn't want anybody there uh, to get hurt, meaning fans and everybody else. I said, we're going to have enough trouble getting Habib out of here without the belt and without the whole thing. So I wanted us to protect him, get him out, and sure enough, as soon as he got in that tunnel, it's exactly what I knew was going to happen. Um, so, you know. What did you say to, to him while you, know, you were trying to keep things calm? Like, when he was trying to what? When you were trying to tell him that you were not putting the belt on him? Like, yeah, so it's not going to happen. You're going to be lucky if you don't get arrested. Mm-hmm. And he said, listen, if, if that's what has to happen, I have to get arrested, at least do it with my belt on. I want to put my belt on. Did Daniel did he apologize? Or? Yeah. Did Daniel he, Cormier? He did. Yeah. yeah, Daniel Cormier and Luke Rockhold were great in this situation and trying to help, you know, calm these guys down. And, and, and this type of situation, it's all about, first of all, the two ringleaders of all the people involved in this thing are Connor and Habib. So the first thing you got to do is try to get them calm and tell them to calm their people down. So we uh, we tried to do that. Connor was actually great through the through the whole thing. He was the one who got attacked and never really retaliated or was trying to do anything. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's just about calming these guys down, then calming Habib down and getting him to realize you need you need to just walk out of here right now. And the positive side of the, of the night, the performance and the fight of the night. Which, what were they? Yeah. We, we haven't even picked them yet. I've been dealing with some other things. When, Let's look when, at it. When, when the dust settles, suspensions are done, would you book a rematch? I don't know. I, I can't even think about stuff like that right now. It's, there's so many different things that are going on in my head right now other than rematches or fights or anything. Th- these two are, these two are going to get suspended. So. Has Khabib yeah, been arrested? That I mean, rematch would be... Khabib, Khabib went after Dylan Dennis. Has he been arrested? I don't know. As of, he might be? As of when I walked in here, he wasn't.
Let's talk about the fight itself, though. I mean, Khabib did put on a fantastic performance. Obviously, it's been overshadowed since, but if you can just give us some comment on the fight itself. Yeah, I, I thought they, I thought Connor looked great in the first round at defending. The, you know, normally when Con, when Habib takes you down and puts you in that position, he smashes you. He wasn't able to get anything off in the first round. Then from there, um, Habib just started to wear him down, and then he did what he does in the fourth round. I thought it was a brilliant performance, and I think that. What he should have done is picked Connor up from the ground, hugged him, walked over, got his belt, and you know, said some great things. And even even if you're, you know, the biggest Connor fan in the world, you have to at least respect the guy. And then the way that they went out, <clears throat> it just absolutely makes no sense. And it it's bad for the sport, it's bad for him himself personally, and for the uh, you know, for everybody. Tonight's supposed to be an easy night for you. We're talking probably three million buys on pay per view. Everything was going great, the great fights leading up to the event. How, how hard is it for you to end the night like this? Yeah. I've never done it. That's not, I've never mm-hmm. been in this position before. So, uh, yeah, I don't like it, and I don't ever want to be in this position again. How do you feel? Angry, disappointed? I'll, yeah, you know, it's funny. You know me. I'm usually angry about everything. But, uh, you seem pretty composed, yeah. I'm more disappointed. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm more disappointed. I'm really disappointed. Um, yeah, this, this isn't how we – it's a great sport. Great athletes, and and this is not how we usually conduct ourselves. How many people were watching, based on that? I, I haven't e- I haven't even paid no attention. To I, so normally I should be in my room right now, and I should be coming out here, you know, bragging to all you guys how great the night was. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I don't really have much to brag about tonight. Well, well let's I'm look at the performance of Tony Ferguson. I mean, that was something to brag about. And, and both guys. Yeah, and Pettis. Yeah, Pettis. It was a great fight. Uh, off the top of my head, that's the fight of the night right now. I mean, yeah, it's a great fight. He said, I don't care about any of this stuff, the after stuff. He said, I, uh, I'm, just, I'm just bummed out about the fight. That's all I care about. When can we expect for us some answers about the fines and the suspensions? How long will it take to come out? Well, I'm sure um, first thing Monday morning, all this stuff, the, you know, the Nevada State Athletic Commission is probably going to get together, probably going to have a hearing, and, uh, and uh, we'll see how this thing did, did unfolds. Say- yeah, the, 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 the Nevada State Athletic Commission has withheld their checks. And both guys? Both guys. Do they have the jurisdiction to strip a title? No. So that's something you're going to have to consider if, if they do, like, could be get the year suspension or something along those lines? Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Do you yeah. feel any responsibility using the bus attack as part of the promotional, part of the hype for this, hyping this up so much that there's pressure blew at the end? That we hyped it up so much that what happened? Yeah, using the bus attack, the fact that Khabib was put on the back foot no, with that. that had, listen, that had everything to do with it and nothing to do with this. But, um, yeah, no. Listen, these guys don't like each other. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Do you think what we saw then was a classic example of how personal it was? I mean, we, we knew they didn't like each other, but quite often when fighters say they don't like each other, they still you say hug it out at the end or they've shared yeah. that respect to being in the octagon. That just <clears throat> didn't happen tonight. No, it did not. And... Uh, you know, they pretty much said that it wouldn't. I mean, if you look, we, we, all the things that we did tonight, we've never done. We had we had pretty much all of Metro Police Department here tonight. We had security beyond security. We had um, two meetings. The second meeting was probably around the um, uh, OSP and Reyes fight, okay, where we went back again and told them this is what's going to happen. Nobody's going in the octagon except for me. When I get in the octagon, I will determine who can come in and who can't. Yeah. And, um, you know, I felt like once I got in there and got control of the place and felt like we were under control, I could start letting people in. Yeah. But I can see now, even if that happened, that wouldn't have been the case. Yeah. There would have been people that we could not have let in. Um, How so did yeah. so many people make their way in? I guess when Khabib ran over there, I guess, was that a diversion almost for the police? And then Well, no, that, the was, guys that, over? that was what happened. So what happened was... Um, so he was talking smack. Habib ran over there and jumped over the cage. So everybody is swarmed on the two guys. They're all over Habib and, and Connor's cornerman, and it left an opening for some guys to, you know. Do you blame security for the way they, they manage this? Or it's not I, their fault? I mean, what are you going to do? You, get, you got guys jumping around like jumping beans over the frigging cage. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? These guys are trying to do the best they can. Uh, they, guys were getting punched, too. Police officers were getting punched. Security guys were getting punched. It's, you know, once that, once that starts rolling, it's, it's, it's very hard. It just usually takes off like a wildfire. 
is very hard to contain. I actually think that the police and security did a phenomenal job of containing it because that starts spilling out into the crowd and, the, you know, a lot of bad things can happen when that happens. I actually thought they did an excellent job. When Who she saw Khabib jumping over the, you know? Exactly. And, and, and how are you going to, when the guy starts running and then jumps right over the octagon, he flew, he flew over that thing like one of those parkour guys, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's just like, you, you're not going to stop that. The co-main event in Moncton is supposed to be Artem Lobov versus Zubera Tugugava. Is it safe to say that fight's not happening? Definitely. So Artem's lost out twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dana, would you consider um, Nate in four years if you strip of um, Khabib? Uh, title? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even thinking about that stuff right now. Once you get done talking to us now, where do you go? What do you try and do now <laughs> to, uh, to make sense of it? I don't even know. Whatever, wherever she tells me to go <laughs> next is where I'm going, I guess. <laughs> But once I'm done doing all the media, I'm going to go sit down with uh, my team and the Nevada State Athletic Commission and start figuring out what's next. Do you have any thoughts of skipping this and going and dealing with the situation right away? No. What do you feel like you need no, to kind I, of explain no, what's going I, on? Yeah, I, I, I had to come here. Listen, it was a great night, you know, and everything went off without a hitch. Maybe I wouldn't do this for whatever reason. I'm tired or whatever, but no, I had to come here and do this. Absolutely. I would not not do this. You seem crushed. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm just disappointed. I'm so disappointed, man. I'm one of the guys who's worked really hard for 18 years to build this sport to what it is today and this, this brand. And, uh, you know, we just did a massive deal with ESPN. and Everything's positive. Everything's going great. Biggest, we'll see how this thing trends. I don't know where we're at right now. But this thing was trending to be number one, two, or three all time in pay-per-view. Um, and, uh, and this is how it ends? It's just like, come on, man. Forget how long I've been working on, uh, in the sport, but how long we worked on this event. And, and uh, you know, to get here and to be here talking to you guys about this dumb <laughs> this, it, it's very disappointing. You call it the Dolly situation the, the most disgusting thing you've seen in your time with UFC. Is, is this now yeah. the new number one? Yeah, this wins. Yeah. Not that one is worse than the other. They're equally as bad. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, there was a lot of hype behind this fight, and you know, because the bad blood was real, and we saw it even after the fight. Why is Connor's purse being held? It seems like he was kind of a bystander in all of this. Yeah, because that's what they do. This thing, you know, Connor's guy was involved in starting the fight. You know, he was over there yelling at Habib, and um, when you're in the corner, you're, you're a licensed corner man, and it's it's a it's a privileged license, you know. You, 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 you these guys. You, the commission says whether you get it or you don't, and um, you're supposed to conduct yourself as a professional. This is the pinnacle of the sport. This is, you know, the best of the best. You're supposed to act that way. Was Coach Kavanaugh involved in any of this? No. And was Dylan an official corner? He wasn't wearing a Reebok kit or anything. I don't know. Any last questions? Thanks, Dana. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.